What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I got an interesting one for you guys, man. Uh, I want to talk to the fellas out there, to the to my kings out there, man. Uh, we we need to have a meeting. This is a meeting for all of us, us potential single bachelors out there, trying to shoot our best shot at you know you know women that we feel like is worthy of our time. When you get to that point, you meet someone, you're able to get their number, and you start messaging them back and forth, trying to get a better feel for that special young lady. Um, or maybe an older lady, it doesn't matter. I'm not here to judge age preferences unless they are legal age, I have to make that very clear. But um, when you finally get to that point, you wanna make sure that you're you're, you know, you're not doing too much. You're not being thirsty, but you're not being too lackadaisical, you know? And you also, even though I don't think I should be having to say this, you gotta make sure your grammar is on point. Now you may think, why is that a big deal? Well, one, you know, you don't wanna come off like someone that doesn't know how to speak or pronounce or know which you're to use. There's y-o-u-r then there's y-o-u-r-e you gotta know which one you're using in the right context that's uh, another topic for another day but you just want to make sure that you you know what you're talking about and you don't come off confused or uneducated you feel me so i'm bringing this up because one of my friends on instagram had posted one of her interactions with someone that she was uh trying to get to know and she posted it on her story and i had to repost it because i legitimately was laughing for about a good five to ten minutes because i thought it was so funny i have never seen anyone botch like getting to know a woman so bad to the point where she at that point once she went back and forth in the messages she was done with this person from what they said and how incorrect their grammar was i've never seen that before that's like myth level botchery so we gotta check this out man i just want my fellas the kings to do better and you know make sure you don't waste your your opportunity when getting to know someone man so let's get right into this man i have it on my phone i'm gonna have it up on the screen so Message goes like this. Her message is in the blue. His is in the gray. And since you're asking about my preferences, what are yours? This is where it get good. Smart. Sense of humor. Sense of humor. I'm going to say it one more time. Sense of humor. Not spelled as in sense. As in S-E-N-S-E. -S -E. Sense. Goal ordinated. <laughs> Goal ordinated. <laughs> oh shit. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> this shit made me cough because it was so bad. Goal ordinated. What the fuck is that? Pretty smile. Asshole, which that's kind of a weird trait that you would want. But I guess some people like assholes, I guess. Trustworthy clean and a freak <laughs> he used and a freak at the end bro fellas i, I want y'all to understand despite all the grammatical misspellings here the last thing you end off on is a freak fellas play it chill play it cool you don't that comes off a little bit too thirsty in a sense because, of course, a lot of guys will like someone that's on the freakier side. But you don't outwardly say that. You just be like, he could have just stayed with all the stuff that he listed and just, you know, spelling it correctly. He could have stayed with that. But he went with the freak part. I was just like, uh, okay. All right, man. So, she responds, LOL, your grammar, though. And he responds, what about it? <laughs> I want y'all to understand why this is so funny to me. Why I am, I am, I'm dying from this. The reason why I'm dying from this 
is because he legitimately didn't think anything was wrong with what he said. He legitimately thought what he texted was the right grammatic, like the right grammar to use. Like he didn't think that he spelled anything wrong. He didn't think he used any, like the words incorrectly spelled it wrong. It was just, what about it? What are you talking about? Those are the things I like. Like what, what are you talking about? And of course, she said there was other things that, you know, she was, you know, peeping that she wasn't a fan of, but that was the last straw. And obviously, man, when you're going around messing up that bad in the text message, and then when someone says your grammar, though, and then you be like, what you talking about? Is What do you mean? What about it? Bruh. <laughs> Fellas, you got to do better. Yeah. We all deserve someone that's going to treat us well. I want all my male subscribers to be happy with someone. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, when you're going out here and using grammar that bad, and then you don't even know, like, legitimately that you use some bad grammar, and you're confused, I mean, if she ghosts you and don't say anything, man, afterwards, I don't know what to tell you. It, it could have been, it could have been that. So, fellas, you ain't got to be using big words in your text messages. Autocorrect is your friend. Sometimes, but... Just reread your messages before you send anything to anybody. I know sometimes that can take a little bit of, you know, a little bit of extra time that you may not want to spend. But especially if you're having a conversation like this on trying to get to know someone and they're asking about what traits and qualities you like in a woman or asking like some serious questions, make sure you reread your messages. Just take an extra few seconds to let me reread it. Oh, that don't sound right. Make sure you reread your message. And if you do accidentally send a typo, what I usually do, I'll just send the corrected word. You know, I'll, you know, spell the word correctly. I'll put an asterisk by it as my next message. Granted, you don't have to, but I usually do that because that's just like a, a little mental thing in my, oh, I misspelled a word. Let me correct it. Or oh, I said a statement wrong. Let me fix it in the next message. That's usually what I do. Sometimes it happens. But make sure you do that, fellas, because, uh, you don't want to be going out like my guy using sense of humor instead of spelling it S-E-N-S-E. -E. But yeah. You comment down below. <laughs> Let me know. Have you ever messed up bad in a text message? Like your grammatical, like your grammar was all out of whack. It just... Whatever you sent, when you read it back, it didn't make a lick of sense. It's happened to me. I've done that before where I think I was probably like a little bit tired or whatnot. I wasn't really paying attention. So my grammar was all kinds of messed up. And I had to text that person back. As soon as I reread it, I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry about my grammar. That was the words were out of place. I don't know what the hell I was saying. What I meant to say. Comment down below if that's ever happened to you. It's definitely happened to me a few times. I'm usually able to, I'm quickly able to pick up on that. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 60K, man. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me.